Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Galaxy Fracture Dislocation. Galaxy Fracture Dislocation consists of fracture of distal part of radius with disruption of the distal radio ulna joint. A Galaxy equivalent fracture is a distal radius fracture with distal ulnar facial fracture. Calysis fracture are primarily encounter in children with a peak incident age 9 to 12 years. In adult, it is estimated to account for around 7% of the forearm fracture. Typical Galaxy fracture dislocation occurs due to a fall on an outstretched hand and result in dorsal displacement of the radius Taiwan. If the axial load was applied to the forearm in supination or volar displacement of the radius, it is tied to if the forearm was in pronation. So we define or we classify Galicis fracture into time, which time one is those are displacement, time two is volar displacement. A forearm city is usually sufficient for diagnosis and management planning, however, good quality orthogonal view are needed to identify and characterize displacement correctly. Features include radiosal fracture, dislocation of the distal radio or joint, radio shortening may occur and if greater than, greater than 10 mm, such as complete disruption, of the interosseous membrane. Base of ulna styloid fracture, widening of the distal radio ulna joint on the front of you, asymmetry of the distal radio ulna joint when compared to the other form. This is an example for the first case of Galicia's fracture. It is Taiwan. So open transfer fracture of the junction of the distal and mid thirds of the radius diaphysis with volar dislocation of the distal the radio or night joint, note that the radius is overriding by 2 to 3 cm. Second case, this is the Thai one of the Khaleesi fracture, where we find the widened distal radio ulna joint indicated by the blue the blue line, but you should not. So in this image, and the loss of normal contour between a radio and ulna because of this repairing, ulna had the borderline widened scapular lunar joint space are indicated.
And in the lateral view, we see the anterior dislocation ulna head is outlined. And the commuted butterfly fragment is outlined. So, in conclusion is, we see the fracture of the radius with displace, with those are displacement of distal fragment. So, this is the Taiwan Galicia's fracture dislocation. Another case, also Taiwan Galicia's fracture, where distal fragment of the radius fracture does only displace. Again, it is the Taiwan again, where we can see the distal fragment of radius structure does only displace. Treatment and prognosis. Calysis Fracture dislocation are unstable, requiring surgical intervention, which involve open reduction and internal fixation of the radius fracture, intraoperative assessment of the distal radio ulna joint for reductibility and stability, and subsequent Kersner Y uh, fixation of the ulna to the radius. Triangular fibro cartilage complex. Exploration and repair and spinning or immobilization in supination where uh, and about elbow cuts. Open reduction of the radius shaft fracture and internal fixation with a dynamic compression flat and screw may also reduce the distal radio ulnar joint dislocation. Thank you.